Hello fellow exiles and welcome to my ranger build. The two important keystones to note here is iron reflexes which converts all evasion rating to armor and arrow dodging which doubles the chance to evade projectiles. So this build is mostly focusing on increased physical damage, um, increasing evasion rating and some elemental damage and a bit of crit. We're also uh, picking up some increased mana and mana regen. So, uh, let's start out the build going um, all the way to Greer Impact and then either going up for uh, for the mana or um, up and then to the right for the pierce and uh, arrow dodging. Or you could either go down to more defensive path or offensive depending on how you want to do it can go down and then pick up uh, Master Fletcher, uh, Mana Flows and Fury Bolts or you could just go down the more defensive path and pick up Iron Reflexes which makes all your evasion into armor. Um, armor is right now a superior defensive stat to evasion even though they're both not super useful and merciless they're still good but they could be better. I think, I think it's still nice to have this early armor it all depends on how confident you feel and how much you're dying. Uh, you can either pick this up or you can just uh, take some of the uh, more offensive abilities. I would recommend if you're going down here, just pick up the HP straight away because that will help you out. Uh, but the Iron Reflectors, you don't have to get it uh, early. You can have it by level 20 or you can take it by level 30. Uh, it all depends on your playstyle. There is some increased weapon elemental damage and uh, Ice Bite. So. Uh, when it comes to gear, we're going to focus on uh, pure evasion gear with uh, maybe some HP increase. Um, or yeah, you want HP increase <laughs> um, on as many slots as you can uh, without trying, without sacrificing too much damage. So Another thing you want is uh, Auras. Uh, I've taken Ice Bite because I always run a Hatred on uh, my Ranger. Um, this this Ice Bite basically increases um, the effectiveness of the Aura by 30% because um, Hatred converts physical damage or a portion of your physical damage to, I to cold damage uh, and this increases it even more. Um, the other Aura I'd take is discip um, <laughs> not discipline, uh, Clarity for increased uh, mana regen. So when it comes to gems, you can either run Poison Arrow or Lightning Arrow. Um, personally, I prefer Poison Arrow. Um, if you take Lightning Arrow, you might want to pick up this Weapon Elemental Damage uh, a bit earlier. Um, and the Fury Bolts. You can go this way as well, taking these two points and then Fury Bolts if you don't want to go around. And then uh, when you go this way and finally get this, you can take these away um, if you want to get Fury Bolts earlier. So that's basically the two arrows I'd recommend you using. When it comes to single target damage, I'd pick up a puncture and maybe a frenzy. Um, phase run is pretty good to have for this build to increase movement speed. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, when it comes to the uh, support gems, on poison arrow, I'd put pierce, greater multiple projectiles, and uh, increased duration. On Lightning Arrow, you probably need a Mana Leech and uh, Projectiles. And uh, I think it's called Faster Projectiles, which increases projectile damage as well. That's uh, that's some good things to pick up um, for the Lightning Arrow. You probably need Mana Leech because it is very uh, mana hungry, a <laughs> very mana hungry skill. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. For puncture, you can take an increased duration. Um, I've tried taking added cold damage as well. Um, it works okay, but you have to play around with that one uh, a bit. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, everything for this build. I'm not gonna go through the play style of the build because it's pretty self-explanatory how to play uh, ranger and the play style on the lightning arrow and poison arrow builds are pretty different so uh, I'm not gonna go too too much into that but I'll let uh, I'll let you um, try to figure it out yourself uh, how you wanna play it 
poison arrow is a bit more defensive placed, a lightning arrow is a bit more aggressive. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this build, so um, thanks for watching and I hope you, uh, the build helped you out.